very beginning you are broken up with and you kind of spend the game exploring this environment um, in such a way that reveals the overarching narrative of your relationship and the, the relationship of these various neighbor characters who are all kind of metaphor for, metaphors for different types of the world. All right, so um, in this game, uh, you go through a number of vignettes of characters and these characters sort of reflect different aspects of your relationship that you had before. And so by talking to these characters and then interacting with their backstories through these vignettes, which are sort of perfectly customized to represent them, uh, you understand eventually more about your own relationship. So each of these vignettes um, is a short but 15 minute experience in and of itself. Um, we're exploring some gameplay mechanics, primarily aiming for A, uh, narrative. We want to explore how you can convey narrative, and B, how do you uh, convey interact introspective gameplay mechanics. So each of these should hopefully be relatable to the character. So um, we have this overarching nar narrative, which is between yourself, you're, you're one half of this broken relationship, and, and your significant other. And by interacting with these vignettes, you sort of have this through line of narrative, which sort of reveals more about the relationship. So for a target audience stuff, we're looking at primarily indie gamers. Um, this will be a um, similar name to uh, environmental exploration games, like your Esther at home, um, kind of interactive fiction, or we have sort of vignette sort of uh, games, like Third Flights of Loving and Dinner Date, which tell story through sort of very short interactions and then um, talking about characters. So projection time-wise, it's a pretty small game. It will consist of six of these vignettes and also the kind of wrapping uh, over a narrative. Mm -hmm. So we run a really small versatile team. Richard and I have already been working on this, and in the past couple of months we've done a lot of work on these vignettes just between the two of us. So we would probably bring on a third person who would have also a multifaceted background. For example, I've been doing writing, I do art, and I've been kind of playing our tech art guy, I've been programming, working in design, so we want to play on one more additional person to help out with further art assets, um, maybe some more design work writing. Um, and then in addition to that, we would contract out a sound designer to build great help us out with uh, sound. So for our production budget, we'd like to keep things small. We have a very agile team currently, and we'd like to keep it that way. So for our full-time team, we just have three people. Um, we're going to contract the sound designer for the last two months, and, uh, and then we have software and publishing costs for the part software. So we're following along the lines of models such as the Tilburg Company, which consists of four full-time people. Uh, so marketing, we're looking at primarily kind of free social media, so creating things like Facebook page, Twitter account, we already have a development blog. Um, we also look to advertise through different festivals such as Indicate, um, Play, and we have Pat, et cetera, and also interview 